Mirrors. Have you ever wanted to learn how to swim with the use of a mirror? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you eight different ways that you can learn how to swim or teach others, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate. So for those who are watching this video for the first time, my name is Nathaniel and I'm the swim specialist and I specialize in teaching people how to swim through the use of video. I want to be your go-to guide for all your swimming needs and my aim is to get 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you haven't already, just make sure that you click subscribe and in today's video, I'm gonna show you eight ways that you can learn how to swim, whether you're a child wanting to learn how to swim, a parent wanting to teach their child or a teacher wanting to teach others. This video is gonna be perfect for you. So what is a swim mirror? A mirror is a reflective surface area that allows you to see yourself when learning how to swim. These ones in particular are surrounded by foam, making it practical to use in the water. Now who are these for? These ones are typically designed for children, however adults can use them as well. The advantages of using the mirrors are, they are easy and safe to use and you can store them wherever you like. Number two, you can actually manipulate a swimmer's head, giving them the perfect body position. And number three, they are fun, exciting, and they will encourage swimmers to put their face under the water or wherever you want them to. So for practice number one, the swimmer is gonna hold the mirror with both hands and look forwards directly into the mirror. The key point here is that the swimmer places their chin on the water, which will give them a horizontal body position, allowing them to travel forwards comfortably. Practice number two, we are going to do exactly the same. However, this time we are going to introduce aquatic breathing. So the key point here is can the swimmer blow bubbles directly into the mirror? This will prevent the swimmer from swallowing water when swimming. In practice number three, we want the swimmer to practice swimming with their face under the water. So the key point here is to hold the mirror under the water and look downwards and forwards. The outcome will be that they can practice an effective leg kick kicking as fast as possible to get them going forwards. Practice number four, this time the swimmer is gonna travel independently. We need one other person to hold the mirror directly in front of them. The key point here is that the mirror stays underwater for three seconds, allowing the swimmer to practice kicking their legs really fast. Then the mirror will come out of the water, which will encourage the swimmer to breathe, and then we just repeat the sequence by putting the mirror back under the water. The outcome will be that the swimmer doesn't stop and put their feet on the floor every time they need to breathe. In practice number five, we want the swimmer to experience traveling backwards. So the key point here is that the person holds the mirror directly above their head so they look upwards and backwards. The outcome will be that they have a flat horizontal body position allowing them to travel backwards comfortably. In practice number six, we are going to use the mirror for stroke development. The first practice is doing front crawl and we want the swimmer to perform a head turn. We can use the mirror to manipulate exactly where the swimmer looks. Now, if the swimmer finds breathing to the side very difficult, you can hold the mirror behind them. This will allow them to put their chin to their shoulder, allowing them to breathe without swallowing any water. Once they find that comfortable, you can then put the mirror to the side. In practice number seven, you are gonna practice breaststroke with your arms extended. So hold the mirror with both hands. The key point here is can the swimmer do some trickle breathing, that means blowing into the mirror slowly before they lift their head up to breathe. Once they've taken a breath, they need to put their face back down and do an effective leg kick. The outcome will be that they have an efficient and effective breaststroke technique. And in your final practice, we want the swimmer to practice a dolphin leg kick with a mirror. The key point here is that the swimmer has their legs, knees, ankles, and their feet together when performing a dolphin leg kick. The outcome should be that the swimmer can actually see their leg kick with the use of a mirror. So what I've shown you today is eight ways that you can learn how to swim or develop stroke technique with the use of a mirror. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure that you click like. And if you haven't already, click subscribe. <laughs> you can do that by clicking below. And if you wanna watch one of our next videos, just look to your left and you will see our next video. 
So click that, give it a watch, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.